Welcome to SanJuanIslandsTV.com and part three of the San Juan Islands Scenic Byway. In this video, which covers the final third of the byway, we'll take a scenic tour of beautiful Orcas Island. Again, follow directions from the crew as you disembark the ferry, with walk-ons and bicyclists leaving from the car deck before the cars. Driving off, follow traffic to the left off the ferry landing. You can park and explore Orcas Village now or when you return to take the ferry back to the mainland. Driving north into the island's interior, take the first left-hand turn onto Deer Harbor Road and follow it to Deer Harbor. This 12-minute drive leads to the quiet enclave of Deer Harbor, which includes lodging, dining, sea kayaking, whale watching, and fishing charters. Retrace your route back to the main road, heading towards East Sound. During the season, stop in at Crow Valley Pottery, housed in a historic 1866 log cabin. The shop and grounds feature the works of over 70 artists. Their second gallery is located in downtown East Sound and is open year-round. East Sound, while a quaint seaside village, is also the commercial hub of Orcas Island. The Orcas Island Historical Museum is located in the center of town next to the village green. The museum has six original homesteads built during the 1870s and 1890s and are covered by a modern shell. While you're here, make sure you ask about the 12,000-year-old bison skull. Heading east out of town, you'll pass two of the three gas stations on Orcas Island. A little further south, and we come to historic Moran Mansion at Rosario Resort. Robert Moran, a shipbuilder and former mayor of Seattle, completed the mansion in 1909, which is now the centerpiece of this popular resort and marina. Recognized by the National Trust for Historic Preservation, the property still retains its turn-of-the-century origins. Continue south to Moran State Park and Mount Constitution. Donated by Robert Moran, the 5,000-acre park has over 30 miles of hiking trails, lakes, waterfalls, and campsites. Mount Constitution, at 2,409 feet, is the highest point in the San Juan Islands. Mount Constitution is definitely a must-see side trip off the scenic byway. As you can see, the view is breathtaking. South of the park is the hamlet of Olga, home to Orcas Island Artworks, Cafe Olga, and James Hardman Gallery. This artist cooperative and gallery is housed in a 1936 strawberry packing plant. Cafe Olga is a delightful restaurant featuring Pacific Northwest cuisine. Another 10 minutes brings us to Doe Bay Resort and Retreat. A rustic Northwest icon, Doe Bay offers water view lodging, massage, yoga, sea kayaking, and hot tubs. The Doe Bay Cafe draws on the abundance of Orcas Island farms and fishermen for fresh local ingredients. Doe Bay is also the end of the scenic byway. As the largest of the San Juans, there's a lot to see on Orcas Island. You could easily spend a couple of leisurely days exploring. When you're ready to head back to the mainland, make your way back to Orcas Village and get in line at the ferry terminal. Remember, the tickets you bought in Anacortes are round trip, so you don't need to buy a return ticket. While waiting for the ferry, Take the time to explore this cute waterfront hamlet. Lodging, shops, dining, groceries, and restrooms can be found here. The stately Orcas Hotel overlooking the ferry landing was built in 1904 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. 
We hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of Washington's newest scenic byway, the spectacular San Juan Island Scenic Byway, which is accessible 365 days a year. I'm Lisa Malika. Thank you for watching part three of the San Juan Island Scenic Byway and SanJuanIslandsTV.com, the place to visit.